Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. Scott Sexton served in the U.S. Army as a combat engineer and as a bomb dog handler. The demolitions expert had many close calls with IEDs and even stepped on one and lived to tell about it. Jason Lamb introduces him to us on this week's Veteran Salute. Scott Sexton is a product of the coal fields of poverty-ravaged eastern Kentucky. The son of a coal miner and the youngest of 14 children, Sexton figured a career in the U.S. Army would be less dangerous than a lifetime spent underground in the mines. Inside Andover Dog Training Center, yes, good boy. <laughs> Scott Sexton is guiding Jack through training exercises. Sexton was a 17-year-old senior-to-be when he volunteered to join the Kentucky National Guard. That way, before I went to basic training, I knew exactly kind of what was going on with the military. Sexton was the only one of 14 kids in his family to graduate from high school. I went to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for what they called OSIT, which is one station unit training. And I uh, did my basic military training and then I did training to be a combat engineer. Sexton trained to be a demolition specialist. What we did as combat engineers, we would find roadside bombs and stuff. And instead of trying to defuse them or anything like that, we would just blow them up. A couple of months later, Sexton was stationed at Fort Leonard Wood as an active duty soldier. When I was in processing into Fort Leonard Wood, the lady there at the front desk, she asked me, she was like, are you the canine guy? It's like, no, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, I blow stuff up. And she's like, oh, we're waiting on a canine guy. So she went back to get my paperwork and came up to me and was like, yeah, you're going to the canine unit. Say, please, canine. So in 2007, Sexton was sent to Lackland Air Force Base to become a dog handler. This is his first bomb dog, Tucker. My dog actually got to the point where they had to medically retire him. And it was going to be a couple of years before I could get another dog. So I decided to just deploy as a regular engineer. Sexton joined a combat engineer unit at Balad Air Base in Iraq. His unit's primary mission was route clearance. You get used to looking at the roads and know what's natural. And like if we spotted something that looked out of place, we had a piece of equipment called the Buffalo. So it's this giant semi truck looking thing that has a hydraulic arm on it. And we would use it to dig at the dirt and stuff to try to see if there's something in there. And if we found wires or something, we would just throw a stick of C4 on it and blow it up. It goes without saying this was a very dangerous job. I've actually been blown up four times, three, time, three times in Iraq, in Iraq, setting in the Buffalo doing that. You would be sitting there and all of a sudden you hit something and the whole entire front of your truck is gone. <laughs> After 18 months in Iraq, Sexton was sent to Germany for a year before being deployed to Afghanistan where he had a very close call. I actually had a uh, IED to go off under my feet. Got super lucky that they did not bury it correctly because I still had my toes and my legs and stuff. Got a traumatic brain injury and PTSD and I have a lot of friends that were nowhere near as lucky as I was. In 2012, Sexton was medically discharged. When he came home, he learned that mentally he was still shell-shocked. So I focused on my mental health and stuff and getting myself back to just being a normal citizen. Sexton started his own nonprofit to help veterans. It was called the Forgotten 22 and it raised awareness about veteran suicide. I've actually lost more of my friends and soldiers since coming back than I did in combat. Yep. And now I'm a professional puppy petter. I play with puppies all day. Mainly, this whole thing is a uh, form of therapy for me. That's kind of the whole reason why I started it. Sexton says when he was discharged from the Army, he was a soldier who was afraid to open up to anyone. He says now he's come a long way, and he feels like he's in a steady, stable place. He and his wife, Tasha, have two boys. Here for you, Jason Lamb, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Light is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's combat engineer Scott Sexton, who served our country in the United States Army for six years. On behalf of all of Kansas, Scott, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. 
Uh, I'd like to say it was a pleasure to serve my country, and I want to thank uh, Devon James and KSN for this awesome recognition, and uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you guys. Thanks, Scott. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.